You are wowing out in the kitchen with Stephanie from Vitality Health Solutions again. And today we are making nutritionist approved sugar-free brownies. But there's one crazy little twist. I am constantly shocked at some of the things or the way my career has gone when it comes to nutrition and making food swaps or just the, the avenues it has taken. And I have never cooked with cannabis because I don't personally partake, but the endocannabinoid system within our body is an amazing thing and we've got endocannabinoid receptor sites. Anyways, I have a client whose doctor has been using cannabis for therapeutic use for their health conditions and so he has hired me. So I'm gonna show you two versions. One would be the regular sugar-free brownies that I would normally make and two would be how to add the cannabis to it because why not bring you with this? bring you with me on this learning adventure. So first, right here we've got one half cup of, he asked for butter, so I've got a grass-fed, the Kerrygold butter. You could use coconut oil if you have any kind of dairy issue. So we've got a half cup butter. And right here we have a half cup of pure cocoa. So no sugar or anything in that. That's just cocoa and you could use Cocoa or cacao powder has a little bit more antioxidants in it, or you can mix it between the two. And then right here, I've got one cup of monk fruit, which is the sugar replacement, but makes the makes still makes it the sweet treat. So you, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. Whatever sugar is called for, you would use the same amount of this. Unless you use this Lanco powdered sugar, then you would cut the recipe in half. So first, we're just going to mix this a little bit, make sure it's all mixed up. We want the sugar to kind of dissolve. You can see it's already turning into a buttery chocolate yummy gooeyness. Who doesn't love that? Okay, so then I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to make a mess. And then I'm going to add two eggs. One. <laughs> Two, and then I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then again, I'm just gonna mix for a second. You don't have to use a mixer, I just for simplicity's sake wanted to. So I wanna make sure that's well combined. Just mix, mix, mix for a minute. It was cute when I asked my daughter, can you come in and record me making cannabis, ca cannabis brownie? She said, Ew, I don't want to be in there when you're cooking weed. And I thought, oh, well, good for you, because she's 22. So it made my little mama heart happy to hear it. So she's recording and laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we can make sure that's well combined. So now if you are doing just a regular sugar-free brownie recipe, you're going to do a uh, half cup of flour. So I'm using almond flour, you can use coconut flour, you can use whatever flour you want to, even like flax or, you know, um, I'm just thinking of grain free or wheat free flours, but if you, you could use whatever you want. So right here is actually, I'm gonna do a fourth cup of marijuana flour. You can see that looks like flour, it's all ground up. And so that was just marijuana that he gave me, that he wanted used, and I just put it in the coffee grinder and I made flour out of it. So I am using a fourth cup in this recipe, um, and he had that calculated with the milligrams that he wanted in his treats. So I'm splitting the half a cup flour into a fourth cup marijuana flour and a fourth cup almond flour. Clearly, if you don't want marijuana brownies, then you don't put the marijuana, you use a whole half cup of flour. And usually I would double this recipe, but because this is my first time doing this, I'm making a small recipe and just making like an eight by eight pan of it. But you could double the recipe if you've experimented with cannabis or you wanna make a, just a sugar-free one. So I'm gonna mix this until well combined. Now, I used salted butter in my recipe, and so I'm not adding any salt, but if you did not use salted butter, you'd want to add a four teaspoon of some good Himalayan or Celtic sea salt or something, just a good quality sea salt. And so, I mean, this is pretty much the recipe. I'm going to mix this till it's well combined, but after done mixing, this is when you could like fold in some Lily's chocolate chips or some good organic walnuts. Um, which I am going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of both just to make them a special treat. So after this is nice and mixed, I've got my organic walnuts. And so I'm just going to fold that in to the recipe. And then 
I like these Lily's chocolate chips. You guys have seen me make some goodies with this before because they're sweetened with stevia. So we're still on that sugar-free kick and giving it a little bit of extra. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to fold the walnuts and the, then throw some chocolate chips on top. And then I'm going to cook this at 350 for about 20 to 22 minutes. And that's really dependent on the heat of your oven because you do not want to overcook these. So make sure you adjust the time, uh, maybe check it 15 to 18 minutes in. Um, stick a toothpick in it to see if it's ooey gooey or not, because you want these gooey. And I have some videos under my YouTube section, or my YouTube channel, or the videos on my Facebook page, where you can see me making a chocolate frosting if you wanted to frost this. So that's pretty much the recipe, just for time's sake, I'm going to stop, but I'm going to throw my walnuts in there and then I'm going to put it in the pan and I'm going to bake my very first cannabis laced brownie that has no sugar and I guess full of beneficial herbs. So what, whichever recipe or whichever way you go with this recipe, let me know how it turns out. Let me know your tweaks and share your recipes with me. Like the video, share the video. Again, Stephanie, Vitality Health Solutions. Bye guys.